Hi everybody, I'm just making a few rigs in the garage. I thought it was a great opportunity to show you one of the simplest rigs I've been using for float fishing for a long time to be fair, but this time of year in particular, it just seems that I find myself going towards this shotting pattern on a lot of matches. So this shotting pattern is best suited for lighter floats. So I'm talking about like floats 410s, 412s, 414s. Today I'm just tying up a a shanty on here i've got it on the line here i'm going to show you the shanty look absolutely love a shanty it's a brilliant flow with a cane tip that's really really sensitive one of the problems though with a cane tip is in the winter even with the fantastic paint on these tips you can sometimes be struggling to see them anything past about 10 meters so when i go past 10 meters i tend to use an f1 maggot which has got a thin hollow tip in it Again, a brilliant flow, very visible bristle. It's not quite as sensitive as that cane bristle from the shanty. So where I can see the shanty, it's always my first choice. But when I get that little bit further out, I find that the F1 maggot allows me to see it and fish with it so much easier. So I'll always err on that sort of side. But this shotting pattern is designed for these sorts of floats. So 410s, 412s, 414s, maybe even 416s, depending on where you're fishing. It's really, really straightforward. And it's also designed with baits where you're trying to fish, I'm gonna say on the drop, you're looking for fish to see the bait on the way down. So maggots, casters, maybe even little bits of worm, perhaps a piece of bread if you're dobbing about, that sort of thing. Anything where you're hoping the fish will see that bait on the way down and then go down to where you're fishing to see it. And because of that, you're probably laying your rig in, you're flicking your rig out to the side and it'll be coming down like this. And as your float's coming down, you're just looking for it to settle and then dink that's where your fish is. So this is the shotting pattern that I use and it's so effective, it's so simple to use and it just doesn't tangle. So I've just literally finished it here on my uh, shanty and I'm gonna talk you through it. So it's dead simple. Effectively, what you're looking to do is, is taper your shot all the way down. So if you've got a six inch hook length, I've started with a six inch gap there between the first two. I'll bring this a little bit closer. Maybe we'll be able to see it there. So I've got a six inch gap there. If I hold that up between the first two shot, the next shot along is five inches away. Okay, so six inches, five inches, and then four inches, three inches, two inches, and then one inch. So effectively all the way down the rig, the gap just gets one inch smaller when every shot goes on. And what that does is it means that the shot that are closer together fall a little bit quicker and they just naturally push that last bit of the rig away from the bulk and just means that you get a nice constant fall of your bait. Again, don't get me wrong, this isn't natural for a fish. A fish doesn't look at a bait whizzing past with shot and think it's necessarily natural, but for me, it's something that catches their eye. If you were going for natural, you'd have next to no shot on whatsoever, or a tiny 13, something like that. This is more about the bait is falling down through the water, the fish go, what's that? And then they turn and they go to their bait, all right? So not a really tight bulk that just rockets down. This is more just that almost progressive bulk. And what I've done, is it's number 10s for the first four shot, and then the last few are number nines. And you can see there I've got one, two, three, four number 10s and four number nines. And once you've got to an inch, you can see there the final two shot are just next to the last shot. So it's almost like a bulk and then tapered down below it. And if I was using a 412s, I don't even need that bulk. And if I'm using a 410s, I actually don't even get to that last one inch. It's just number 10s and it'll be six inch, five inch, four inch, three inch, two inch, and that's all you need. It's really simple to do. All I do when I'm trying to get the shot in the right position is I've got a little uh, tape measure here on my board and I've got a, a pin nail on the end here of the uh, tape measure and I just hold it along the tape measure and nip the shot on where I want it. I know that there's some great things out there that you can get for doing things like that. So. Doing your rigs like this is really straightforward, but it's a really simple rig. And I find myself using this on nearly every venue that I go to during the winter. 
Hope you've enjoyed that little tip there. Get yourself a few rigs tied so you're ready for the weekend.